Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Cash Rock. I'm your host, or Mr. Player here, Mr. Bartia, Commune, Republic of China, Indian Alliance lover. But right now, we got to talk about a special session of the INC, the constitutionally mandated five year term of the incumbent executive committee. That's, of course, come to an end. Marking the beginning of a new round of political uh, skullduggery and backstabbing as the various factions vie for control of the Congress. Calcutta is draped in the red flag of free India and the steel or streets are alive with the sounds of excitement. Let's get a work, comrades. We lose political power, which is kind of weird, but uh, we could recruit in Ceylon, huh? Uh, we haven't been able to take him out. We did take out Nepal. Um, I just decided to annex him. I mean, I think it looks better that way. Uh, I'll probably try to give pretty much, uh, probably at the end, Tibet to China. So I don't mind us having this and China's all of this, so. Makes it a really red east, uh, you know, just red Asia. So, we've lost this many guys so far. Um, Japan has lost three and a half million to us, which is kind of, kind of nuts. Ceylon's lost eight guys. Russia is barely alive right now. The Third International's done incredibly well against them. Um, Batavian Commune has done really well and tricky for some reason. Uh, Quebec is free, led by Leo Robach. We've got Richard, Richard Dude, uh, Petipis. Pet a piece? Whatever it is. And of course, Japan, we're still here. We can't really offer peace. I don't even know why that button even exists. But the good thing is, they're completely out of fuel. They got a lot of manpower left, even though they are on all adult serve. They got some convoys. Um, we're still fighting the Feng Shuang government. Not too concerned about that. We're still waiting to go to war with Qi, Zhu Yuan, who is still currently killing Ezian Puyi. The Judicial Reform Act, in the wake of the Indian reunification and into the ages to the Calcutta government, a major source of discontent across the subcontinent, has proven to be the lack of central direction of the judicial system, with some provinces and districts being the hands of local workers and peasants, committees, and others still being ruled based on the old colonial codes. The Congress is in agreement that a more effective and streamlined legal apparatus is sorely needed. However, such a system precisely should function and who should in control is highly debated. Um, as you can probably can tell, we're probably going to go with a decentralized three-tier system for each province. And right now, we're kind of hanging out, having a good old time, destroying as many convoys as possible. And dest and destroyers as well. Look at that. Of course, we're using some, um... Uh, naval bombers here too now. Oh boy, what is this? Oh, hello! Wow! Twelve more go sinky sink. And now we go to war for Ganon. Ganon. Like in... Legend of Zelda? Ganon? Okay. Well, they're still at war with the Qing Chinese, which is quite unfortunate, but... Um, and they're fighting the entire Japanese sphere, so... Oh, look at that. Huh. Something I never knew about, but let's see. 45 days is actually really good. Um, we might be able to defeat these guys pretty darn quickly, if possible. So... If we end up going to war with both groups while we're still at war with this... Oh, wow. That's not good. Um, I do want to take whatever we can from these guys. This is doing quite well. How many days do we have until we can't? You know what? Let's wait until October 10th, maybe. Because you guys are still just kind of defending up here. I don't want you guys to move. The states and the central government. Five years have passed since the States Reorganization Act was adopted in, by Congress. Yet friction still exists between the provinces and the central government as to who should wield the most influence in the villages and the cities of India. The Maximists wish the states to be completely subjugated to the rulings of the executive, all while retaining insignificant administrative power, the Agarian Wing. On the contrary, it argues the complex nature of the Indian nation calls for loose confederation and defense matters in all Indian industries. Donga's anarcho syndicalists share the mistrust of a strong central government, but suggest creating a coordinating state committee elected by local trade unions to ensure some coherence among India's provinces. Nehru proposes a quasi-federal structure with each province retaining a token legislative as well as chief ministers and governors, which are an answer to the central government. Submit. Do not submit. A loose confederation of autonomous states? Why not? That sounds like the best thing we could do for now. Oh, yeah, you know that convoy sunk. And we're seeking destroyers, which is so nice, too. Very good. And are we still upgrading? No, we're not, because we're done upgrading. Nice. The Industrial Policy Resolution Act. Industrial Velvet has been the main focus, or major focus, for most of the congressional factions, even as it gives the recognize the need for some heavy industry. But the question is, of course, is which is the right of our nation's industrial sector as highly contested as ever? India must become completely self sufficient. As we're still building supply depots here in the Qing, Qing China? No. Just normal China, just because, well, we need supplies. Also, as I was told, roads are not very super... They're just kind of there. They're not that great, which is true. It gives, does give you maybe some more fuel capacity, but, like, we don't really build them, but the case of foreign obligations. The revolution might have triumphed in India and heralded in a new era of socialist brotherhood and the ages of the Raj. But the world is still plagued by twin evils of possessing classes, feudalism, and capitalism. Although we already have a significant diplomatic presence, broadly issue of our commitment to the international welfare of the syndicalist system has come up as an important 
uh, point in today's debates. As usual, the most glaring difference is between the Gearns and Maximists, with the former advocating pe a peaceful promotion of socialism within India, while the latter argues bellicosely for the revolution to be promoted abo abroad at a bayonet point. Danga and Nauru occupy middle position. That eh, the political power thing doesn't even matter anymore. We have more than enough. I can't ever invade these guys too, like, you never get enough naval, or, yeah, naval, uh, domination, superiority. Yeah, domination. But we'll see. Ah, okay, this is military restructuring. Although the Indian Red Army was successful in its charge to secure the reunification of the subcontinent under the control of the Calcutta government, it has become a too rigid organization with conflicting loyalties, always distressing two, of two centrally controlled authority. Both Danga syndicalists and Agarians argue for a gradual demobilization and thorough democratization of the armed forces. Danga even, or Dong even going so far as to call for democratically elected officers chosen by the servicemen's trade unions, both then and the totalists believe in a strong army, but the former places far more emphasis on the reforming and upgrading the existing equipment, while the totalists wish to expand all three service sectors or branches, while also serving enforcing a strict hierarchical command structure with full military discipline. Promote volunteer services and national militia. Um, we're out of steel, which is very not good. Very, very not good. Um, here, have that. There you go. Um, of all things, we need a lot of steel. Thanks, China. We're still going to suppress you, but that's okay. So that sucks that we're going to lose all that extra stuff, but... <clears throat> That's why we're still building supply bases here, which costs so much to build, as you probably could tell, so. Nice. Even the subs su subs are going to be sinking hopefully hot here. The gears control Congress. Through the roaring applause of the Congress, the wing support and the ideals of Mahatma has managed to secure support for the line by the party. Uh, throughout rural India, the hope is that the new capital will secure peace and prosperity from Karachi to Calcutta. Our great nation shall be healed by the mercy of the victors. Welcome back, Gandhi. Welcome back. And yes, last episode, as someone did say, we did drop a nuke. But that ain't the only nuke we're going to be dropping. We'll be dropping more nukes soon, too. Actually, how many more days do we have until, uh... We... Ooh, look at them sub-daddies. Subbies and chubbies. Ooh. Lost two planes, sunk two convoys, sunk eight more convoys. Nice. Um, cause I just want... Oh, wow. Oh, I forgot they're still attacking up here, too. Whoopsie. Where it is left, huh? Nice. If they want to attack, I am okay with that. Absolutely okay. You guys are over there? Oh, and they try to attack us down here, too. Nice. There we go. Let's go on these guys first. You should be able to win pretty easily, in all honesty. And we'll give all this territory back to the Chinese, so. And actually, with the Chinese here, the Chinese should be able to take out the Chinese too, but I... Uh, let's see. Mm, let's see how fast we can move first against these guys. Uh, we have until the 24th of November, which is not bad, actually, at all. Oh, wow, look at this battle. Four more convoys sunk? Beautiful. We lost three subs, though, which does suck. But, oh, they actually did land. But, uh, that's kind of a failure on their part. <clears throat> Excuse me. League of Southeastern Provinces? Southeast Provinces? They still have a couple convoys, but no fuel, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. The ships are just kind of running around. Nice. Anything here? Yes, please. Oh, let's go check something else. We're going to need way more fuel, though. Yeah. What are the losses like for this group? Wow. Did we kill off only 62,000, huh? We lost 18,000. Not bad, not bad. Keep going down in, you'll do fine, fine, fine. Uh, I wish I could just separate these guys appropriately. There you go. I mean, since we're here, can we actually do this? No, we can't drop a nuke yet. Darn it. Where are our strap bombers? Strap bombies. Should be close to here-ish, right? Naval wing, fighters. Um... Ah, oh, no wonder. You're all the way down here. Um, there you go. Nanjing might go a little explosive. Yay! I want to save them for Japan or the Kore Koreans? Uh, I guess the Japanese, technically. 
Um, improved lighting chassis, that's nice. We need more guns. We don't have that many guns. We might as well just throw it like this as a kind of a last resort type of deal. Oh, there goes Afghanistan. Wow. How have they not given up yet? Do they need Omsk or something? Ekaterinburg. Huh. Holy crap. Nice. Very nice. Alright, so with that going on, I'm just going to go ahead and just move you guys down here because you're doing really well down here too. So, I don't know how they've been able to shuffle that far, that hard and fast. Mm, we'll go that one person. That'd be nice. You're there. Don't get too much radiation when you're over there. Too. Getting closer and closer. And we've got a cup of coffee here as well. Which is very nice. I mean, since we're here anyways, we can suppress subjects. We actually wouldn't be too bad. Construction engineering is up for slot. Yeah, might as well do that one for spy bases and stuff like that too. Cool. It's going to. Oh, wait, what? Oh, 45 days? Yeah, well, it's fine, whatever. <coughs> My bad. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, but whatever. You guys should all be there by now. Uh, let the horses come back down here. Defend against these guys. It's fine. And you guys up here are just kind of hanging out. Um, I'm not sure there's any a real good place to actually attack. Supply's probably really bad around here. Especially, oh, I'm still trying to build this up here, too, though. That's actually really smart. Smart. Can you guys actually win? I don't know if they would be able to. Hmm. Got you guys just kind of hang out for now. You guys just kind of take all the hits and do really well. Lost two subs, which sucks, but that's okay. We can produce another three. And this guy's level six, which is not bad. Could be better, though. Could be better. And do we have any more? Yes, we do. Oh, you guys lost your railway gun. That sucks, bro. Sucks. Nice. Oh, do we not win there? Oh, we do. Oh, we went, we went up here. Okay. Five divisions versus them. Hmm. Hmm. Might be able to do his push this way, but I kind of like how close it is already. Extreme environment training is nice. One, two. Hmm. I don't want to get captured here and circled here. I mean, Could do that maybe. Good. Or bombers. We got some other type of bombers. Bomber daddies. Papa bombers. Not bad. Now can you guys go here? Good. Now can you guys go in? Yes, no, maybe so. Maybe force it a little bit. We'll see. We'll see. Uh oh. Oh, Russia must be capitulating. Oh, crap. That's not good. I do not want to deal with an uh, enemy to our northern border, but I guess a good time for comments then. So, Chaz. Yes, we did it. He dropped a nuke. Literal nuclear Gandhi. It's called the Indian Ocean for a reason. GWRD is a great war mod, I think. GWR. Yeah, maybe Republic of China GWRD mod. The National Nazbal Brezhnev series is in a thousand week Reich. Forgot about that. But yeah, cool. And I always try to read as many videos. Not even made these videos. But as many comments after each video as possible. I mean, just depending on my time and when I can get to the videos. So, that's not always possible. But, yeah, definitely, uh, that's one of my goals. And here we are at everybody. Um, I've actually taken out the Qing Chinese as well as the other group. Just because, like, Russia capitulated, as you saw, um, right before we faded out. And it took so long to get done. But this is the result of the peace deal. The North German Union did extremely well over here. Like, they almost not core, but, like, basically it's North Germany again. Literally the North German Union, like, holy crap. 
The Danubian Republic of Councils actually did pretty decent as well. Romania's back, Yugoslavia's here. Greece got an expansion, it looks like. Turkey really lost out. Um, here's a map mode. Third International's done extremely well this timeline. Like, literally a third of Africa's in the Third International. The vast majority of South America is. Uh, Zebulon here is still there. Foster, of course. But yeah, that's just a very red world. Um, even Iran, Afghanistan, there's us, the Indian Alliance. And I gave all the territory we took uh, in China to our Chinese puppet. And of course, Japan got the material, material lands well. But now, it's time to go on in and see what we can do against the Japanese and the Feng Chong government. Because this will be the last, probably the last major war we'll do against these uh, folks. Maybe not fine folks, but folks in general. All right, we probably don't have uh, air superiority up here. Which does kind of suck. Actually, let's go back over here, I guess. We like this as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And if we can actually own all of this, like, I'll t pop it all this stuff and maybe get some of the stuff to China, too. We'll see. We will definitely see. But, yeah. We're doing not too bad. Not too bad at all. Also, I had to use the State Transfer Tool Mod just to make sure that the borders look kind of nice in Europe, so... You never know what the AI is up to. There you go. There you go. <clears throat> Not bad. Oh, we're getting close to Beijing already. As much as I'd love to nuke it. Actually, do we have your superiority here? Can I nuke one of you guys? Oh, man. Well, any more air superiority? That's a, that's a big deal. Oh. Well, I don't know if we're going to win there yet. Do we win right here? Nah. Nuke on a mountain? Darn it. Datong? Yes. We'll nuke it, Datong. It's going to ruin supply, but whatever. Hey, we did another nuke. At least we want to get the Japanese. That's what I care about. Why are you in the water, son? Why? Leave the water for the subs. The subbies and my chubbies. Ah. Hey, we got Beijing, which means this person needs to go back. Probably, honestly, over to. Huh. Northern Korea. Of course, you got guys on your tube, that's alright. Which means you go right there. And you all go right there, too. Awesome, awesome. Tinjiang. Very nice, very nice. Oh boy. I see some Transmir convoys. Very nice. Very nice. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, we have convoys here too. That's not good. But as long as we're seeing the enemy's convoys, that's what matters. And oh, hello! An encirclement! Oh, yes. Just what the doctor ordered. Supplies are just so bad up here, too. But whatever. Uh, where are those bombers? Strategic bombers. Hmm. They don't really have an airbase over there that they could use. Do Shenyang. Shenyang. I'd love to nuke it, but can't quite do that. We need more air superiority. No nuclear strike in progress. You can only do one at a time? What? Oh, that's not cool. I'd love to nuke it. But we're doing pretty darn well, I'm not going to lie. Oh. You guys could go. Supplies are just so bad here, though. And you guys are actually doing really well, so force the attack. Because you can. There you go. Nice. Very good. Please? No. Darn it. Hmm. We probably don't have a lot of planes up there. I got a lot of planes too, but then again, we're building up more nuclear reactors, huh? Nice. Very nice. I love a nuclear Gandhi. And I hope you do as well. Goodbye. Goodbye, sirs. Goodbye. Nice. Very good. Nuke yet? No. Got it. Oh, it's yellow air now. We still have enough fuel, so we'll see. Stack Bomber 1, Stack Bomber 2s. Did I put you at the bottom here? I think I did. Elite Forces? Very good. But we don't have enough Factorinos for this. Of course, then again, we have literally no extra aluminum, which does suck. Elite Special Forces. At this point, it doesn't really matter. Jet Strap Bombers? You can't try that. I wonder if the pieces is going to end here, but let's see. Malaysia is not... We killed a lot of Malaysians. Cut off a lot of the Feng Shui government. We've lost, lost some 400,000. The Chinese have lost quite a bit, too, actually. 
And Japan itself, we cut off a lot of Vietnamese, Filipinos. Japan's lost four and a half million. Literally from us, just us. Come on, I want a nuker. I like getting a little nuky. Well, actually, out of context, it sounds really weird. Mm, please, I just want to nuke just a little bit. Just a little nuke. A mini nuke, as I do have in Fallout. Fallout Kaiserreich. Sounds, sounds like fun. But whatever. Cool. And you are down here, my good sir. Pretty good. Pretty good. Keep seeing them combos. Fall Chen Young. Show them sure you have a new master. Oh, you bet. They'll definitely have a type of new master. Hmm. As long as you keep reading the convoys, we'll be fine. What? Are you guys doing anything? No. That should give us quite a bit more to work with. Ooh, we lost something there. That's not good. Um, since we're here, actually. I know the war's not going to last that much longer, but do we have any naval bombers? Oh, we have plenty of naval bombers. Wow, some of these guys are veterans. I like that a lot. Nice. I hope you guys are having a pretty good day. I'm doing pretty normal myself. Could be a lot, lot worse. We'll start uh, naval bombing them so they can't get as much supplies in two. That would be very good. Oh, Port Arthur would be very good as well. Uh, war propaganda? Why not? <clears throat> oh, do we lose a division? Oh, wow, we actually lost a division up here too. Do the best we can. I'm not too concerned about that. Supplies probably quite a bit. Pretty bad around here, so. But it's okay. It's just slow going. That's all it is. Well, we got green air down over here, which is pretty nice. Nice. Oh. Oh, they're actually trying to attack us here too, huh? This, then again, I'm going to have a lot of soldiers down here too, but... Hmm. They're not going to be able to stop us. Way high way. Hey, you got Port Arthur. Nice job, guys. And they're trying to naval invade, which is not a smart idea. We're all done there. It's nice. Heavy fighters? I used to use heavy fighters a whole lot. Used to. We don't really need mechanized, to be honest with you. How do we not have air superiority here? Oh, because we don't we can't send a lot of divisions on there, that's why. Abin? Hey, look at that. Hey, look at that. I feel like Douglas MacArthur right now. It's gonna be nuking everything we can. Um, ooh. Oh, nothing to create yet. All right, All right. let him drop. Mm, they're winning here now, so I don't want to drop them there. Nice. Very good. Very, very good. Good. We lost 400,000, which is fine. These guys have not been cut off because they still have this government to deal with over here, too. If our Japan is slowly pushing out here, which is unfortunate. But, oh well. Once we get through Korea, they might want to end the war, though. Which is what I'm hoping for. Oh, but we're pushing through. Oh, there goes the Feng Chong government. Northern Korea Pyongyang could use a nuke. Seoul could use a nuke. Busan could use a nuke, too. Nice. Oh, this is a mess. How many divisions? 111? That's not bad. It's a good way to trap a lot of divisions down here. Uh, I could have just gone there. But okay, whatever. Oh my goodness. Yes, we're good. Japan's lost. Approaching 5 million casualties. Not enough. We have 6 divisions here. Darn it, we can't nuke it. Darn it. At this point, you... are actually not going to do that anymore. You're going to come down here. There we go. 
go in. Nice. Any more guys? Um, yes. Good. Good, 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 good. Good. Oh, you guys are actually doing quite well here now. Nice. Anything else? Build them more roads, which are kind of not super useful right now. We'll still build them up, though, eventually. And radio. I love the radio. Another division is died. Trends me up 44,000 have only been killed off, which is not enough. Supplies are going to be really bad down here, too, though. So. Ah. Well, these guys have been completely cut off, so that's actually really good, too. A lot of stock would be great to get, but we'll see. Korea will slowly fall. Oh, you guys are down there yet? Force him to die. Jing Dao will be ours. And Wei Highway will be ours too. Wei Highway. Why are you in the water, guys? That's exactly where you don't want your railway guns to be. Oh my goodness. Sirs. Oh my good sirs. Um, in all honesty, I'm not sure Russell sent everyone else. So. Hmm. I always want to kind of hang out. Nice. Oh, maybe not. They didn't alien bait us, which is unfortunate, but... We'll deal with them. It's fine. Well, even the garrisons are just like, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. We've had a lot of us stock is still not falling yet, but we are pushing into them. Which is very nice, actually. How much closer to... For these guys. Not very close for these guys. Japan? How is Japan not giving up yet? They've lost over five flipping million people. Don't take it all. It's fine. Southern Korea, I will nuke it if I have to. Ah. But maybe we don't need to nuke it. We'll spare the city. So don't spare it. Good. Goodbye, sirs. Well. Taking your horse Singapore cosplay, huh? Completely blockade him now. Complete absolute blockade of the islands of Japan. If we have to, we'll build some radar. We'll build some of this stuff here. Build some ports around here, too. Also, that was another suggestion for me to just build ports. <clears throat> so we can get enough supply around here. So we'll see. That's a lot of guys. But, a lot of spots should not be able to get through here once we have subs here too, so. Yeah, fighting through Asia, not a great idea. How many divisions they've left? Up to 83, which is quite a bit, quite a bit. But if they don't have... Oh, they actually got a lot more fuel back. Holy crap. How do you get that much more fuel? Well, that's not good. But if that's the case... Draw a fair invasion. I don't know if we can actually successfully land or not, but we'll try. Ooh, let's try it with a floating harbor, because we do have floating harbors here, too. Because we have been making some of them. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 as well. Let's send one more over too. Not from Vladivostok. And that divisions will be good enough for there. Right there. Oh, well. I should have done the floating harbor one that that one too, but whatever. Cool. Alright. Oh my goodness. Look at all that aluminum we really do need. Hey, Jenna! Please. Finish those ones off first, please. Oh, wow! I actually sunk a lot of things here. Huh. 
don't think these guys can really keep up. They got 2 million manpower. They got plenty of stuff here. Oh, yeah, they're running out of stuff, too. Just like us, but still. Oh. Now, Transmere has been cut off from other Transmere parts, unless our subs can't do the job. Completely surround Transmere. Nice. Also, Australia, Australasia Confederation fell to the Japanese earlier in the campaign, if you didn't know. So, that is a thing that happened, too. Ah, look at this. Very good. I'm surprised we didn't get the peace deal just to, like, just peace out with them. That was going to be a butchery for Vladivostok, but that's okay. Can we actually nuke him? No, we can't. Dang. Philippines is done. Bombers. Bombers. Come on over. Oh. Oh boy. Come on. Don't give up. Don't give up. Good. Oh, do we have actually more stuff? Oh, I feel that nice. Let's go to efficiency. Sure, why not? All right, y'all. Can y'all go in here actually? Do well now. Spot is pretty bad though. Space. We'll put more fighters here, but especially naval bombers are all right, which we will use more of. Do we have any? No, that many tactical bombers. Okay, maybe naval bombers then. It's fine. More fighters. Nice. Hey, we got a lot of stock. Nice. And, oh, crap. We gotta go all the way over there. Holy crap. Katrinburg. Jesus Christ. That's so far away. Go way down on those guys. It's fine. Nice. Good job, guys. You guys actually invade yet? Yeah, you can. Do the best y'all can. Make us proud. You're gonna have to force the attack. No nukes yet. Darn it. Go in. And capture them all. Kingdom Division is not very strong. That's okay. Good. Nice. We landed. Awesome. All the way through, please. I'm gonna actually leave you here like this. Go in. Keep going, keep going. Hey, go, yeah. More war propaganda because you can? Sure, why not? There we go. Pretty good, pretty good. I'm not sure where the divisions are at, but we. Have a successful invasion. Didn't think I'd play as India and actually take out Japan, but whatever. Kochi? Nice. Oh, can we nuke Tokyo? Oh, we can. Oh, nice. And every timeline, when we do something like this, it's just the time to get a little nuki nuki. Now, this is what we've been waiting for. Can we actually do it down here, too? Oh, yes. Very nice, very nice. Uh, nuke the airbase so they can't use it anyways. Ah, Hiroshima. Nothing like it. Ah. Of Nagasaki. 
Will this be the Jap Japanese surrender to Tokyo? Hiroshima? As long as the Japanese get nuked in any timeline, I'm happy. Good job, guys. As long as Australia does not become a major power, I'll be happy. I'll be very happy, actually. Gotta be sure next. I was, you know, I forgot that we have a Catherine Berg. Actually, how, how, how far are they? They capture that. They are only halfway. Oh my goodness, that sucks so much. Oh, hello. How do they spawn two divisions here? In Nagoya. That is not good, actually. Quite not good. Kill them all off. Leave no survivors. More combos. Go bye-bye. That's good. Level 6 still. Not bad. Oh, Lone Wolf. Um, less visibility. Get your chance. Why not? Okay, guys. It's slightly even more deadlier. Not bad. Can nuke you again? Eh, why not? Yokohama? Why not? Ah, very good. Are you giving us trouble here? Are you seriously giving us trouble? Oh, we're out of nukes. God dang it, Gandhi. We were out of nukes. Oh! They came back and appeared. Okay, then. Well, force the attack. Six million died? Not bad. Not bad whatsoever. How close are they capitulating? Two thirds of the way, it looks like almost ish. Beautiful. Excuse me, you'd like Tokyo, please. One Tokyo. Nice. Oh, we cannot lower the autonomy. That sucks. And Tokyo will be ours. A very heavily radiated Tokyo, but the fall of Tokyo. A great victory. A great, tremendous victory. Oh, encircled. Gonna get destroyed. Are they supposed to try to naval invade us again? Well, that's a smart idea to try it, but still. Go all the way up to there, my friends. Heavy fighter twos. How about threes? Yes, yes. Sapporo. Oh, your, your capital? You gotta get nuked. Goodbye, Sapporo. Sapporo. Hokkaido? Nice. Attack bombers? Scout planes, I never use those, but okay. So see how much more. Come on. Uh. Ten days I'll be able to go, hopefully. Organizer is good. Actually, you're level 5 now. Oh, look at that! With subs, they call it a carrier and a battleship. And convoys, of course. I can't imagine the Japanese having to do more of a navy at this point. And again, they have a lot of ships still. But they're out of carriers. No, they still have five carriers. God, God dang it, they still have five carriers. Come on. There they go. And the capital's ours now. We have once again. There you go. That should be it, right? Why do you need literally every single victory point? I don't understand. Yeah, I know they wouldn't give up that easily, but still. <clears throat> like, bruh. Come on. Give up.
What? We won. I mean, this is stupid. I Please rework the victory points for J Japan. This is so stupid. So stupid. We conquered all of Japan, basically. No, I'm sorry. I, if I have to directly use console commands to annex them, I will. But no, this is stupid. Who designed it like this? Seriously. Do we need Taiwan or something? Design this. Why? I mean, my god, you take all the home islands. Do you think they would not give up? Do you really not think they would not give up? Bro. Go, trying to go. You guys are just trying to make it back home. Are you kidding me? Come on. Oh my god, where are... Um, come on, hurry up. Three. I'll get those monitors a little bit more strength first. <clears throat> Two. Go in. If you can. Four to one... Oh my god, come on! This is stupid! Yeah, no, Japan needs a slight rework for, uh, their VPs. Slight. Slight. Ever so slight. Because at this point, we found the Emperor, and if we don't capitulate, we'll kill him. That doesn't make any sense. I should not need to take the island of Formosa to kill off the Japanese the Empire of Japan. We literally took all the home islands. Literally all the home islands. Okay, that's so dumb. That's incredibly stupid. Right, I'll just take that. I'll just take that too. I shouldn't annex everything, but we'll probably do this in his puppets too. Maybe you'll see. Oh, let's do China first. Yeah, that might be it. All, right, I, all I want to give to them. I'll take all states as well. We'll probably liberate people, so. Transamir. Oh, I'll take all states as well now, for now. Vietnam. Alright, we didn't get the PCO, which sucked, but whatever. Probably get Korea and into Japan, so. Not bad. But yeah, it's really stupid. That's incredibly stupid. Who designed that? Why? Why was it designed with, kind of poorly? Okay, we're over here. And that's really some people called a campaign. We had Indochina. China. Uh, let's do Australia first. Uh, let's see, United, uh, rule over the Pacific. Give them the rule over the zone in the Pacific, huh? Sure, why not? Especially they're under us. Australasian Union now. John Garden. Uh, let's see, Siberia, Korea. Let's do Korea. Okay. Well, I'll liberate a loyal republic. Siberia, Japan. Uh, Papua New Guinea, give it Australian Union, of course. Indonesia, liberate them. Philippines, liberate a fi loyal Filipino government. Malaysia, give it Insul India. Yeah, it's fine. Which honestly, uh, actually, you know what? No, I kind of want to keep all that. I like, I like the way it, look it looks. But eh, we want to give them local time eventually. Uh, and no, I'm sorry, I'm just taking this. If they died, like, in their war with us, I'm taking it. it. It doesn't make any sense why they wouldn't be under us after the war. Uh, if it ended China. Yeah, or at least one big old thing. As much as I want to keep it, like, all under us, that's kind of nice. Into Chinese Union, why not? And Japan. Japanese Republic. 
Small dives, of course. Okay, Siberia. Hello, Siberian state. Now, we're looking pretty good. Which means this would be a lot of contention between us and the Russian third international people, but, you know, whatever. We can deal with it. Not us. They can deal with it, though, so. Here we go. Oh. We're still over here, though. What the heck? Well, that sucks. Siberian Republic, led by Vadim Podbelsky. We have us, of course. China's done really well. Wang Jiwei. We have the Japanese folks under Arahata Kanson. Go Japanese Union. We have Cristano, Crist Crisanto Evangelista here in the Philippines. Uh, Insul India. We have some unhappy guy. Kalagamad Bagas Mantra. Inner Trans Union. This guy's back. Nguyen An Nin. We saw this guy earlier. I think that might be it. Dutch East Indies lost a lot, which is fine with us. Oh, so on this area too. What else do we have here? Another the fresh far, far East. Give it to our Siberian allies. Yeah, give it to our Siberian allies. That's fine. I don't want to do with that. There you go. That looks so much better. Now that's nice. That's very nice, actually. Uh, New Zealand. Give it to Australian allies. Yeah, I don't know why we would not do that. Somebody. Give it to the Chinese. Peoples. Patani. Patani. Cool. They got that. Patambang. There you go. We got more of that. Oh, we got Hawaii. The fate of the Imperial Family. With the finalization of the last branch of the new governmental system, the future of the Japanese Imperial Family must be discussed. While many members of the Imperial Family undoubtedly bear responsibility for prosecuting the war against us, true justice would likely leave several dead or in prison for life, and with us, an impossible public order problem on our hands. Our diplomats and even most generals insist that we instead use a louder hand. We cannot leave the monarchy intact, but there may be some options still. There will no longer be an aristocracy. Exile them from Japan. Yeah, no more aristocracy. Uh, be New Zealand. Give it Australia. Taiwan. This, oh, wait, Hawaii, what the heck? Uh, release Hawaii as a republic. Turn it, return them. Nationalizing these oil fields. Give it to our Japanese allies. Um, they're not in our faction. We're not going to join the faction, so... By themselves. The workers of the uh, Yenang Gong, Yenang Wang uh, oil fields were the famous motor of the recent Burmese revolution. Their strike against the capital system of robbery and oppression was that... What galvanized the late dissatisfaction of the Konbaung Kon dynasty into a full scale uprising within the both military and general populace. As the Burmese Republic descended into the Bharati economy, now falls upon our government to determine how the means of production Yinong Yang should be handled. The narco syndicalist wing of the Indian National Congress argues that the local trade unions, being the true representative of the local wor workers, I'll take full control of oil fields. On the other hand, Boaz Maximus presented a strong argument for state, complete state control involved in the day, to day running of the plants. The government will have to make a clear decision on how to ensure cooperation with new Burmese comrades. Cho Bong Am looks really nice. Totalism, now we're good. Dan Sasquatch. Well. And. Beta of Keda Perilous? It's fine. Uh, Singapore. I could give it to them. How much resistance is it? I honestly want to keep it, though. Because I feel like Germany, after we won World War II and TNO, so I'm going to keep it. Eh, that's really good. Yeah, I want to, I want to kind of keep it, though. I'll give it to them. Why not? Who cares? And then Sarawak. There you go. They can have that. Give it to Taiwan. Independent Taiwan. Give it to Chinese allies. Give it to Jap not, not our Japanese allies, but Chinese allies. is fine. And then uh, Kelantan Treganganu. These guys are made out really nicely here. Good to demobilize, but hey. Wait, why is it? This is a bug. Wait. Why is it not releasing it to them? I do not understand. There you go. You're gonna like it. Alright, anything else? Can you change lands? Yeah, they can have all that stuff. Also, I did say I give these guys um, Tibet as well. Because it makes it look like a cancer spot, but... Eh. I don't know. They always get Tibet. Eh, let's see, what, what does it look like? We're going to have a lot of compliance here, but whatever. There you go. Eh, we'll leave it like that. Why not? Overall, not bad. The world look doesn't look too bad. Now it's created by the power blocks of the Cairo Pract. Cairo Pract? Pact? Uh, third International, extremely strong Third International, and a very strong Indian Alliance, which the name's okay. So now it's us, India, Red India, with the Red Republic of China, with a Red Japan, with Red Korea, Red Indo Chinese Union, Red Insul India, Red Australia, Australian Confederation, and the Philippines. Don't want to forget the Philippines as well. So overall, 
We've created a, an extremely red world. Hopefully there's going to be a lot of cooperation and not a cold war that could happen. But if you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know what your thoughts are on the campaign, and I'll see you tomorrow in another one. Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great rest of your day.